chapter basically deals with secondary activities which actually deals with the manufacturing sector of economy you all know that economic activities are broadly classified as primary secondary or and tertiary activities there is some human activities which deals with the processing of the gifts of nature which make uh, whatever we get from the environment more useful more satisfying for the for meeting the human requirements this we call manufacturing by the process of manufacturing many different type of things human beings make which uh, uh, add value to what we get from the environment and uh, uh, it makes uh, the things more useful and more satisfying for meeting our requirements these activities come in the category that we call the manufacturing sectors and those people who are engaged in the in the manufacturing process they belong to the manufacturing sector of the economy manufacturing sector or the secondary activities mainly is concerned with uh, the manufacturing process processing of the gifts of nature construction industries also come in this category human beings have been modifying the gifts of nature into more useful thing from the time from the ancient times from when he learned to control different elements of nature initially it was done by hand human beings by their labor and also utilizing animal labor they used to be involved in the manufacturing process and these things that was made that uh, were called handicrafts because it was made by hand when machines were developed to do different type of work or the manufacturing process it led it brought about a big change in the manufacturing activity and ultimately it led to the industrial revolution also today we have different types of industries and uh, there are also modern large scale manufacturing units where different type of things are made with the help of machines with the help of very highly skilled labor with the introduction of a huge volume of capital in the manufacturing process which leads to the production of very large volume of products and also brings about huge remuneration for those who are involved in uh, the manufacturing process so manufacturing has completely changed if we talk if we compare it with what uh, the ways used to be in the initial ancient times of manufacturing that was done by human beings however human beings have been converting the gifts of nature into different type of things from the time he started understanding uh, the nature and its phenomena manufacturing that is done today that uh, is characterized basically by the application of power mass production production of identical type of products in large volume utilization of specialized and skilled labor in factory settings production of standardized commodities and large scale use of power and machinery is a typical feature of modern time manufacturing process we also call manufacturing units as factory for example and synonymously we also use the term industry to indicate where the manufacturing activity is done so the term factory and manufacturing is used in a synonymous manner however it should be kept in mind that factory is a term that is used for identifying the place where modification of the gifts of nature is done 
where new things are made from what we get from the environment with the help of machines or earlier it was done by hand uh, by human beings but when we term when we use the term industry for example iron steel industry it is actually a manufacturing unit it is a place that we know it as factory where iron steel is made uh, from iron ore or cotton textile industry where clothes are made or yarn is made by using cotton which is an agricultural product so manufacturing is done uh, with the help of machines over there in a large scale where the production is very large and uh, where the number of workers at work that is in that is also very large and uh, finally the total remuneration that comes for those who are involved in uh, the manufacturing process that also becomes very large so the manufacturing process has got completely changed from hand made goods and utilization of human and man animal labor to machine made goods and that is done in those places which we call manufacturing units or we call it factory but we also use the term industry for that but the term industry actually means to do particular do a particular type of thing in a very systematic and orderly manner which leads to large scale production and large scale remuneration for those who are involved in the manufacturing process however we use this term in a synonymous manner but the factory the term factory is actually used for uh, the place where the manufacturing activity is done where modification of the gifts of nature is done either with the help of machines or with animal and human labor which was earlier used which were earlier done and factory is also used for this these activities because the things are done over there in a very orderly and systematic manner if we talk about uh, the characteristics of modern large scale manufacturing uh, there are some features which can be identified and which uh, uh, is related with the specialization of skills in the method of production mechanization of manufacturing activity technological innovation organizational structure and stratification is another feature of modern large scale manufacturing and finally we can say that the modern large scale manufacturing units are very unevenly distributed throughout the world so these are the important characteristics of modern large scale manufacturing modern large scale manufacturing is basically based on division of labor and highly and utilization of highly skilled labor the things are made by the work of those workers who are highly skilled in that particular work since only a part of the work is done by the labor force engaged in the manufacturing process so there is a specialization of labor there is large scale mechanization of uh, uh, the manufacturing process in large scale manufacturing activity because the things are made with the help of the machines technological innovation also becomes a very important feature of large scale manufacturing activity because it is done with the help of very specialized very skilled labor who are continuously involved in doing the same thing again and again which uh, give them ideas of innovation in the work that they are doing which leads to technological advancement which helps in improving the quality of the product which may help in increasing the uh, the pace of production and since modern large scale manufacturing activity is done in such units which are uh, which are very uh, large 
and where there are very large number of workers who work and uh, different type of workers who work in such organizations or units. So it has an organizational structure and stratification to monitor everything, to coordinate everything so that the functioning of the things takes place in a proper way. So that the whole product that is produced, that is produced uh, of good quality and uh, everything is done in an orderly manner. So organizational structure and stratification is another feature of modern large scale manufacturing. Besides, another feature of large scale manufacturing is that these units are, are very unevenly distributed in the world. These cover, these units cover less than 10% of the world land area because the raw materials required for different uh, manufacturing activity is not available everywhere. Some of the raw materials are very heavy and bulky and those industries need to be located at those places to reduce the cost of production. So it all leads to very uneven distribution of manufacturing modern manufacturing units and uh, these are the features or characteristics that can be identified as characteristics of modern large scale manufacturing as i told you these are specialization of skills uh, in the method of production mechanization of the production activity, technological innovation, organizational structure and stratification, and also uh, uneven geographic distribution.